Well, getting soybeans off to a good start often entails putting down a pre-emergence residual herbicide, and there are just some excellent products out there that can pave a way for your soybeans to get off to a good start without weed competition. Uh, water hemp has been a big problem in the Midwest, but fortunately there's a good stable of PPO inhibitor herbicides that can clean up on the water hemp that emerge early on. You have the Kixar stable of products, Authority, Valor, very excellent products. Now there are those rare cases that folks are going to have to keep an eye out on these products for injury. They don't occur that often, in fact rarely, but occasionally there are a perfect, there's a perfect storm that can result. Sometimes you have soybean varieties that, for whatever reason, are sensitive to herbicides when they're starting off. When you combine this with planting on low organic matter soils, sandy soils, timing, throw in an application after planting, and if rain comes where you get a high amount of those PPO inhibitor herbicides in the root zone, you can have some injury symptoms. Now, Aaron Hager from the University of Illinois got a lot of information from an article that he recently wrote about it. And when you get conditions like that, you can have a high amount of herbicide in that root zone. The good news is, as time goes on, you can have the herbicide actually go deeper in the soils, and that alleviates some of the conditions. So. Overall, it's good news. There are some excellent herbicides, especially for controlling water hemp early on. But in those cases where you have this perfect storm, keep in mind, keep an eye out when you're looking at your fields for potential soybean herbicide injury.